was released directly on their yo 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 i'm back with another one man like yo 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 back with another one man this one right here is crazy to me man it's about your boy boozy boo you know he talking all this disrespectful stuff about his daughter man like bro i have a daughter man you know i got three kids man two boys and i have my daughter you know when you a guy you're gonna treat your daughter as like your princess bro this dude is talking out his neck he mad that she's dating a girl it's like okay i get that i get it i tell you this though i'd rather have my daughter dating a girl than my son dating a dude any day yeah i'm not saying i approve of it but the things that he's saying like bro this dude is out of pocket man for real man he already going through stuff himself man so what the fuck he got room to talk about anybody you know what i'm saying this dude stay getting pulled over he got everybody watching him man he getting put man come on man and you gonna talk this about your daughter man you know what i'm saying like bro that's stuff that you don't do man it's sad and i mean he publicly on on podcast man and, and he just going off like this dude is going off you know what i'm saying it's, i don't get it man the hell is wrong with this dude man that's your daughter man like that's basically you you know what i'm saying and then i started doing some research and stuff man she bringing that heat she rap she can rap i'm telling you i'm picky on who i say can rap and who i say is good and who's not because i'm good bro i'm the motherfucking bomb me, my squad, see everybody that I'm affiliated with, bro, my MME team, LMG, everybody that I rock with, my other squads that I'm, that I'm affiliated with, man, we bring that heat from the Carolinas, man, from the Carolinas. We just step back, man, to see what's going on with this industry for a bit. But, man, his daughter is actually rapping. She nice. I salute that. But for him to say that, and then he had a nerd say on another video, he told about some, oh yeah, if she got a boyfriend, I don't care if he cheat on her, he do this and that, as long as he don't hit her. Nah, dude, that wouldn't pass on my book. That wouldn't pass on my shorty, bro. You, you're not about to cheat on my daughter. You're not going to be with her. Period. He said, oh, as long as he don't hit her. Oh, that's definitely out of the question. <laughs> you rocking with me, Big Geo? <laughs> Come on, dog. That's, that's not going to happen. Period. This dude's talking out his neck, man. And, and it's just sad. And she's going off. She's venting. She got a lot of stuff to say, man. And she bring good music. Follow behind all that, man. You know, and I just want y'all to salute her, man. Give her the clout. Forget Boozy, bro. He been washed up, man. And I ain't trying to be disrespectful. I rock with Boozy since day one, man. Back when he used to come out back in the day, man. But now times, he can't drop no album and it play numbers, man. From who he would be competing against. He 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 couldn't do that. I think his daughter is the next thing up and smoking. And when she get up, when she get up, watch. When she get up, watch how he be crawling her. a sad situation man i mean most people they have problems with the, the parenting you know mom and dad type thing not the kids man not the kids man they ain't got no part of nothing no part of nothing you know all she trying to do she was born and she just trying to be inspired by her daddy and do good and you got all this going on with the child support the mom bro we all got that going on Bro, I don't even, bro, I, I wouldn't even hate my baby mama on no stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you, you, that's just life, man. You can't put your problems with her mama 
into her hands and not like her. That's all I'm saying. And I can go on and on, man. And I know y'all don't want to hear me ranting and stuff like that, man. But I just had to say this, man. Boozy, you're going to reap what you sow, bro. You're going to keep getting pulled over. You better clear your stuff up now, man. You, you better you better get down on your knees and pray, man. Like Woody said to Charleston White, you better get down on your knees and pray, man. For real. Because when your, when your kids surpass you with their success, you're going to need them. When you get old in that wheelchair, or what your goons going to push you around, okay. You're going to need them. That's all I'm going to tell you. You're going to need your kids, bro, at the end of the day. So you better fix this stuff. That's all I can say. Like, yeah, I talk shit about you just now, and I don't give a fuck. You ain't going to do a damn thing to me, honestly. But what you're doing is wrong. You know that shit, bro. You brought them kids in this world, man, and they looking up to you. She doing music. I was listening to a few of her tracks, bro. That shit fire. She bringing heat. For her age, man. You know what I'm saying? Kind of sound like you a little bit. So it's like, bro, when they when they get older and pass you, bro, when you get old and you in that damn wheelchair, you're going to need her and the rest of your kids. And watch how they have your back then. They won't. So you better fix that, man. You got the means. You got everything to be able to do to fix that. Some people ain't got the means or a lot of things, man. It's hard for them to fix the situation with the baby mama. But you can. So that's on you. If you do or you don't. But I'm going to keep this one short. Like I always say, I try to keep it short, man. I give y'all, you know, the content, man. I mean, if y'all want to see me more, that's cool. Just tell me. I, hey, man, we can talk all day. Like I said, I'm going to be on live with y'all real soon. So don't even worry. But I just had to vent that, man, because I got up and I heard this. And it just it, it just hurt me, man. You know? And she was crying. Check these videos out. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, man. This dude need to make up. I don't care about the baby mamas. Yeah, if you could make that up, yes. The women need it too, man. Women are actually human beings too, man. Everybody get frustrated. You know what I'm saying? And have arguments and things and such. But if you can work it out, man, work it out. But with your kids, it ain't no if you can work it out. You need to work that out. Like ASAP. Because if she vent anymore, all it's going to do is blow up and blow up and blow up. And pretty soon you're going to be seeing her <laughs> everywhere. So, I'm just saying, nobody's perfect, bro. Everybody make mistakes, and it's good to make mistakes so you can learn from them and grow from them. But what the hell you doing, Boozy, is stupid. You being real stupid, bro. T.I. say he even cut ties off with you, bro. That's on you, man. I mean, you know, like I said, take with a grain of salt, man. But all I'm going to tell you is you're going to miss out on a lot with your kids, man. You living a fast life, this, that, that. Yeah, I get it, bro. We all done did it, man. I mean, man, I could only, man. Go ahead and make up with your family, bro. Your kids. Then after that, work on your baby mamas and stuff, man. That's to anybody with family, with kids, man. You know what I'm saying? We all got to do better. We ain't perfect, but you got to make it better, man. Hit them comments, man. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, man. I'm out. Man. I really don't even know where to start for real. Because this ain't even my character. I don't really be getting on here and giving y'all what y'all want. But I feel like my daddy want me to give y'all what y'all want. And he want me to give him what he want as well. Okay, so he always speaking on my sexuality. The whole world know that. Um, and it it been about two years now that I I be quiet. I keep quiet on the shit. I wouldn't say nothing. You know, I just go with the flow. I did everything in my power to understand that this is my father, regardless. Like. I'm going to accept him and love him for who he is. So, 
I just seen he recently did an interview with Carisha and he used the word contaminating. And putting my siblings in it with that. If you know me, this shit make me so mad. If you know me, I love and respect my siblings with everything in me. And they respect me and love me with everything in them. When you getting on their nerves, I'm who they call. My siblings, most of my siblings, teenagers. Teenagers, you don't want to let grow up. But okay. Another thing. You keep speaking on me gay. You keep, keep doing interviews and I don't say nothing, right? The first ever interview you did, you said... You found out I was gay, that I like girls and I had a girlfriend from a picture that went viral. That was a lie. I let that slide. I never addressed it. You found out I was gay a year before that. The incident happened in Jamaica when I was a gay B word, when you called me a gay B word. So if the world really knew all the things and the hurtful things you told me before and I forgave you, you wouldn't even understand. And no matter how you feel, at the end of the day, nigga, I'm your blood. I am your daughter. And me, I feel like I didn't been through the most with you. And every time I turn around, it's like you bash me. It's like you bash me. And it's like the whole world can go against you. But I haven't won. Since I've been a little girl, I never would go against you. And I think I'm really fed up. And you get to talking about God. Like, I don't know my God. He talking about God and how I grew up. I know my God from Nita. From my mama. My mama sent me scriptures every morning. My mama put me in the church home. I don't recall not one time I'm ever getting up with you and you taking me to, to the Lord's house. I don't I don't never recall it. I didn't I didn't learn that from you. I learned to hustle from you. I learned to not let nobody play with me from you. Even if it's you. You get what I'm saying? And it's and it's crazy because I never downplayed you. I never said you was a bad father because you not. You gonna make sure. Your kids straight. You always gonna do that. But emotionally, mentally, you suck. You suck, bruh. And I know you suck with that because you rather go to the internet and have a conversation with the internet about your kids before you come to us and have that conversation. He done did about six, seven interviews about me. Being gay, right? We ain't not never have, he never not have one sit down with me, myself, just him and Aviana, and ask me, why you became that way, fat? What what triggered you? What he is it, it never been that. Every answer, every question y'all ask 
asking him and he giving y'all them answers, if I go ask him that, he wouldn't give me an answer. You know what I'm saying? He don't, he don't, he don't. The things that he do, bro. I would have never thought he would do. And it's like, I came to the point to where. Uh, yesterday, it just really did it to me. Because I'm like, bro. I would not, I would always not say something because I would feel like I'm not finna get on here and disrespect my pops. I'm not finna get on here and go against the grain and go against my daddy. Nobody finna make me do that. But it's like, you making me do that. They not even making me do that. You making me do that, nigga, because you steady speaking on me. You steady, like, I would respect if you, if you just say, just one time, just say, my daughter know how I feel about that. Can we move on to the next question? I can never get that from you. If y'all go look at my interviews, y'all will see. Anytime they try to make it like my daddy don't fuck with me or he this and that, I say he love me regardless. This my pops. I ain't going against him. Y'all ain't going to turn me against him. I always stood on it. And it's like, I feel like you just don't be caring. You just don't care about my feelings no more. You just don't care about my heart. Because you're entitled to feel how you feel. You're entitled to your own opinion. Everybody is. Everybody is. And then another thing, I take a lot of backlash from you. I take a lot of backlash from you, Pops. Like, like a lot of people be scared to work with me. A lot of people don't want to work with me. A lot of opportunities, a lot of opportunities have been missed. Because you are my father. But that's something I can't change. You know what I'm saying? So I don't go around like, I don't fuck with that nigga anyway. Because he don't fuck with me. I don't do that just so I can get on. You know what I'm saying? And with this music shit. If you broadcast my music the way you broadcast me being gay. Maybe I'll be further than what I am. But you so worried about me being gay. You can't even see my, my true talent. The world always talking about, I know your dad is so proud of you. He should be so proud of you and all that. Man, I don't remember the last time he told me that. I don't remember the last time I got that from him. And I'm always grateful. It don't matter what he gives me. It don't matter. And I barely even ask him for something. That's why I want, him, want, want my own so bad. That's why I'm hosting the debut. That's why I'm trying to do little features. That's why I'm doing little interviews, because I want my own. I want my own, and he know that. He know that, bro. Like, that don't make no sense. I pay for most of my videos. I pay for most of this. You're not doing nothing. You're not supporting me like you should, and I don't hold that against you. I don't hold that against you. I still love you. I still don't downplay you, talk about you. But... I'm tired of sparing. I'm tired of sparing and I'm tired of just feeling like I'm just letting you play with me because you my pops. I'm tired of feeling like that. And I love you regardless. I'm always going to love you. But it's no way I'm going to keep letting you speak on me and I'm not going to speak on you. It's no way I can't do that. And for the people that, that do support me and do know Ivy, I appreciate you. With everything in my heart, I appreciate y'all for allowing me to just be myself, express myself, express myself through these, through this music, through YouTube channels, anything I want to do. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? And it's fucked up because the haters, like that's something I can be used to. Like they don't know me. They 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 can comment on my life and do what they want. That's something that I can't let get me upset. You though, you though, like you know me. You my daddy. You don't you 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 don't continue to to down me. You don't do that. You don't do that, especially if I ain't never do do it to you. I ain't never done that to you. It's certain things that the world would never know that I'll take to my grave for you, and you know that. You know that. It's certain things that I know, certain conversations that you done told me, certain hurtful words you done told me that that half of the people that still respect you wouldn't even respect you, and you know this. You know this, bro, but I'm really kind of disappointed that I had to come on here 
and do this and and I let it get to me like this. But bro, I feel like this is the only way I can feel better. And y'all probably say, why you don't call him? Why you don't go to him? Why he don't call me and come to me? Why he don't do me that? So, with that being said, that'll be my last time speaking on it. As long as it's his last time speaking on it. And it probably won't be. I'll just put this... I I, I use my music to vent. And if y'all would have been listening, y'all would have been hearing little things in my music. Because that's what I use to vent. That's what I use to cope. So in October, I drop a new project. Y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to me and Jordan YouTube channel. I have enjoyed it. And I pray that everybody just keep being them. Be you. Because you you. And at, at the end of the day, everybody is human. You human, I'm human, and he human too. If he don't know it. So, yeah. Damn, I'm back on the contaminating. Because why would you even say that? Like... Like, you make it sound like I'm, like, ill or something. Like, nigga, what? Like, contaminating. If anything, you're contaminating. How about that? You got a whole song about two girls kissing in the back seat. You've been, you've been performing this since I was about three, four years old. So what you talking about? You still perform it on stage now. If that ain't contaminating, then what is? To another woman. So You, you know, I would love her to death, you know. But I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't want to start that. I, you know, a, 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 as me. I have the right to do that. As parents, we have the right to do that. Mm -hmm. They told you she was gay. It was nothing. I mean, she still can't bring her situation. My daughter's grown. Well, why? She's grown. Because I don't want it to contaminate her other. It's, it's a generation we raised up to her. I really don't even know where to start for real because this ain't even my character. I don't really be getting on here and giving y'all what y'all want. But I feel like my daddy want me to give y'all what y'all want. And he want me to give him what he want as well. I'm always speaking on my sexuality. The whole world know that. Um, and it's it been about two years now that I'll I be quiet. I keep quiet on the shit. I wouldn't say nothing. You know, I just go with the flow. I did everything in my power to understand that this is my father, regardless. Like, I'ma accept him and love him for who he is. So, I just seen he recently did an interview with Carisha and he used the word contaminating. And putting my siblings in it with that. If you know me, I love and respect my siblings with everything in me. And they respect me and love me with everything in them. When you getting on their nerves, I'm who they call. My siblings, most of my siblings, teenagers. Teenagers you don't want to let grow up. But okay, speaking on me gay, you keep, keep doing interviews and I don't say nothing, right? The first ever interview you did, you said, you found out I was gay, that I like girls and I had a girlfriend from a picture that went viral when you called me a gay B word. So if the world really knew all the things and the hurtful things you told me before and I forgave you, you wouldn't even understand. And no matter how you feel, at the end of the day, nigga, I'm your blood. Boosie is very vocal, judgmental, and hypocritical towards his daughter. He's hurting his daughter, Ivy. She's an adult now and can make her own decisions. He's been to prison. Boosie is not the best example of anything. I know he wants the best for his kids, but he needs to lay off on his daughter because he's really stressing her out. She's really holding a lot in. And you don't know what will happen with someone's mental state. So, Ivy, we pray for you. Wish you the best. You're an adult. They just have to trust that you make the right decision for you because Boosie made a lot of mistakes and he 
he's still alive and he's judging you on being gay when everyone in the entertainment industry that he associates with is gay, but he still continues to deal with them. But uh, tell me what y'all think. Please like, share, follow, repost. Thank me later. I saw Boosie kind of going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? One of your sisters. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I believe it was Toriana. You know what I'm saying? Um, what you talk to every week. You know, I'm just saying what she said. I'm trying to start that shit. Man. I don't want no smoke. Yeah, man. We'll be raw. You hear me? Yeah. Uh, when, when you saw that and it hit the internet, like, what was your thoughts? I don't respect it. I don't respect it. I feel like they shouldn't have put that, that everybody in the business and shit. Like, they ain't have to put everybody in the business. Right. Could have been handled off the internet. Right, 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 right. Why, why do you feel like it escalated so far on the internet? Because it was like, you know what I'm saying? It was like we saw it and then it was like it just continued. You know what I'm saying? And if you wise enough to be like, oh, sh that shouldn't go on. If Tootie Raw say it shouldn't go I on. I try to tell him that shit. Tell him. I can't tell people shut their mouth and not say sh Ain't me saying. Right. You can cheat on her, but don't beat on her. My daughter just texted me she got a boyfriend. She want me to meet him. Be nice. Just don't hit her. <laughs> Love her. <laughs> I don't give a f what you do. Don't take it in, just don't hit her. <laughs> you can cheat on her. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Whatever. Just don't hit her. My daughters love me, bro. See, my daughters, a daughter and a daddy, bro, that's different, bro. Like a mom and a son. Like a mom and a son, bro. A daughter and a daddy. I'm weak for my daughters. That's why my next baby, I want sons. Come on, my daughters, bro. I can't tell them no, bro. And Ty just text me and say she got a boyfriend, man. I'm happy. I'm so happy. But she want me to meet him. And I'm going to be nice. She want me to be nice because all my girls think I might do too much, but I'm not. How old Ty? Oh, Ty grown. Ty is, what this year is? It's 23. Ty 21. My oldest make 22 in a couple of days. When the fourth is? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, I have on a birthday. My churn up in age. My churn 22, 20. My churn up. I've been f Uh, how many kids under 18 you got now? Three. All my churn down there almost grown. Right, right. My churn in high school. Except MJ. MJ in eighth grade. <laughs> you need your name. Bitch, I never said I didn't. But it got to a point where I don't need him. No, he never do shit. Like, yeah, ain't like, I know, like, before I even say that, yeah, he didn't do this shit, but. Not enough for me to need him. Like, oh my God, I need my dad. You finna be this, you finna be broke, you finna be poor, et cetera, et cetera. Like, I'm just about to be on my because I don't have this man in my life because he's a rapper. I enjoy life. I'm enjoying life. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I probably don't like the school I'm at, and et cetera. Bitch, other than that, my life has been great. Actually, better without I ain't gotta stress. I ain't gotta walk on L A shells right on this. Bitch, I'm blessed. This is what y'all not understanding. It's not a too late part on my end. He is too late. He was too late, so I cut that shit out. Fuck, I'm not finna keep getting my heart broke by a nigga that's supposed to be my pop. Like, before a nigga came to break my heart, he did. He talking. I Man, I don't pay no mind. Right. Man, I've been knowing my... I've been knowing my... Like, me and my dad are, like, best friends type. We was best friends type. Like, I know he crazy. And one thing about him, he gonna say exactly how he feel. Right. He don't care who get in their feelings about it. Right. I'm talking about he gonna hurt your feelings and not give a f right. But at the same time, he giving a f he just saying how he feel. So it's like, when I see this, I be like, I ain't saying it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I know they gonna try to back dough and put me in the mix. Right, right, right. They gonna always back dough and put Ivy in the mix. Like, it never fails. But it's like, when I see it, I just be like, okay. That's what he wanna say, that's what he wanna say. Right. I ain't finna say nothing.
Alright, alright, alright. It's so real. I was still. I was. Yeah, I told our black eye. Yep. She was embarrassing the fam. I mean, she was giving her body away <clears throat> at football games in the bathroom, man. I mean, going to my games, having sex in the bathroom with boys. I mean, I probably told her more than that. That's the kind of dad I am. If we gonna tell the truth, let's keep it real. I did it. I'll say it again. You're embarrassing the family. What the? F and the mama okay with it. Mama let 19 year old boy stay with a 14 year old. That's all it is. And I, man, I don't give a f man. I could like you. I could fuck with you. I could find respectful qualities about you and still say, bruh, you, 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 got, you got to chill over there and I'm going to see you when I get back. I'm going to be over here. Edge it to wait. I don't, I don't. Ain't my daddy a bitch per bitch that's not in my blood, never been. Any child with, with who disrespect their father like that, they ain't got nothing good coming to them. I don't want to talk about that, man. It's, it's over with. I said what I said. I told no lies, bro. A child with a mouth like that would never, would never get a blessing. That, to a daddy who been here the whole way, I ain't talking about no, the whole way. The whole way. You'll never, you'll, you'll never have no good luck. That shows the character of a mother. How could a mother let a child talk like that to a father? That shows the character of a mother. That's the same woman, bro. Yeah, yeah, nah, homie, because what I see is a little girl that's in pain. Uh, I, what I see is a little girl, uh, uh, and, and this is not just with, with, with little Boosie, homie. This is with a bunch of niggas that got the inside and the outside kids. You got some kids that you live with. Those your inside kids. That's how your kids see it. Them the kids that live in the house with daddy. Them the inside kids. Daddy love on them. They get to spend time with daddy. Your outside kids don't see you the same way as your inside kids. It ain't they fault that daddy was reckless with his dick. Left a baby over here, a baby over there. A baby daddy was reckless with his dick. And so I'm over here with Tootie and them today in the house with me. Me and your mama don't get along. You don't get to be in the house with me. It ain't your fault, baby. So whatever you saying, whatever you feeling, you got a right. I don't have no right to bite back. I created this situation where you over here, he over here, she over here, and they over here, and you over there. I bring you over here with me, but guess what? I'm still getting treated like an outside baby. Daddy, you traveling. Daddy, you on the road. So when I'm over here with them, these the kids been in the house with you. They got a different kind of bond. I don't have no bond. So when me, when they fighting and we fight, they go make it look like I'm the back because I'm the outside baby, daddy. They don't understand that when, they, when that happened with the kids. So you take the car, this little motherfucker here wrecking the Bentley. This nigga here wrecked the Roll Roy. He going to jail. You ain't taking his car, daddy. I get caught having sex. You go online and tell the world I'm a little freaky motherfucker. Tootie freaky too, daddy. So come on, homie. You gonna go make a song, daddy? And further inflict pain and harm upon me and bash my mama, daddy? I wish you would have died on death row, daddy. Your oldest daughter, uh, Poison Ivy. Yeah. Recently came out. Yeah. And obviously your stance on homosexuality and all of our interviews and everything else like that became front and center. Right. Now this is your oldest child, period. Yeah. She's also a rapper. Yeah. It's very dope. I've heard yeah. her freestyle. She, you know what I mean? She hard. She's hard. 
And she said, you know, she did an interview. She said, if my dad wasn't Boosie, it, you know, nobody would care that I like girls. But the fact that my dad is Boosie, it's a it's an issue. Yeah. It's a talking point. Not to say it's an issue. It's just a talking point. Yeah. So, number one, did you know about this before she made it public or, or not really? Nah, I, I ain't, like, I I didn't. Like, I didn't, I didn't, I like, she used to be with a boy I thought she was dating who used to come to the house, but I don't think that was her boyfriend, no. You know, uh, I think that was just like a friend or something. But uh, I haven't got a, our family is a real Southern Baptist family. So I haven't got a respect for her family and and everything for what she does. You know, so uh, her coming out at this age is, that's the time you post to, that's when you know what you want. How old is she? Finna be 22. Mm, okay. That's what you know when you, what you want. You know, and uh, even though it's not, it's, it, it won't be accepted as far as, because I don't want nobody in, other, in my other family to get think it's okay. But what she does, we, we're not going to, we're not going to, we're not going to, we're going to love her to death. We're going to love her, you know, we're going to love her to death. But at the same time, it's our Southern, our family, it, it, it's never been that way. You know, it's never been accepted. It's never, we got, we had a, my, our preacher, grandfather, grandmother, preacher, like, you know, like. But at the same time, she grown. She can do what the hell she want. Yeah. She can do what the hell she want. She, she old enough to know what she want. And she, and, and, and that's her. And she's, she's, she's doing a great job. She's making her own money, that's her own talent. I've never wrote not one line for her. Mm -hmm. The girl can go, you know? 